Hi folks and welcome back to my Do What You Love series. So my name is Kia Cannons, I'm a happiness expert and a creative coach. That means that I help creative women to do what they love. And the first step in this process, before you get to creating work that feels completely authentic to you and then marketing it and getting customers, the very first step is to ascertain that you truly are on the path to pursue your passion and purpose. So whether or not you already think you know what you want to do or you have no idea what you want to do with your life but you feel like there is something out there that's for you, this is for you. This video series is right up your alley. So don't worry if you think, oh, I've already started something, I don't really wanna start again. What this video series is going to do is give you incredible knowledge about yourself. Because before you can become an expert in anything, you need to become an expert in you. You need to learn what really lights you up, how you truly thrive in this world, what your strengths and your zone of genius is, what your weaknesses are, all sorts of things like that. And to complement this series, and if you haven't started from the beginning, I, I encourage you to maybe pause this and go right back to the first one. Just click on my name and you'll see all the videos that I've done. We started a couple of months ago, so there's not too much to catch up on, and every week the videos are only about five minutes long. But they just give you the most high level, high end, truly transformational, exercises that you can do that can get you right to the root of the answer and the answer the question even that we're answering right now is really who am I what are my strengths what what when I understand who I am is it best that I do so this week is a really fun one have you ever heard of human design a couple of I was going to say a couple of years ago, it's probably only a year ago that I had never heard of human design and a friend that's really, really into it who could immediately read me and say, you're definitely this kind of design, decided to do my chart for me and oh my goodness, it was spot on. Now, as somebody that has never been particularly into horoscopes, astrology, what birth dates mean, I was really sceptical, but... What I have found is since understanding what my own design is and then finding out the human design of my work colleagues, my assistant and my family, it has enabled me to work so much better with them because I know how they're designed to thrive. So there's a few different designs. It's not that many that you can fall between. I personally am a manifesting generator, which I understand that means that I need to be really, really lit up by an idea for there to become a drive to actually pursue it. So if I am given an idea by somebody and told what to do and it doesn't excite me, I am going to have no drive, no energy, and no interest in doing it, which explains why, if you've watched the whole of this series, when I used to do what I hated, you'll remember me saying that I ended up very, very sick, ended up with not only a wonky thyroid, but an all out autoimmune condition. And that all came from the stress of trying to be interested in something that didn't interest me at all. So now I understand, and I can layer in this bit of information amongst all the different exercises that I'm giving you every week, it makes so much sense that I need to be in charge of my own life, being led by the incredible inspired ideas that I have, and when I do that, the energy I have to make them come to fruition is insane. I can keep going and keep going, I can generate this incredible amount of energy that is needed to bring my idea into full fruition. And then for example, I have a son who has a projector type human design. Now it's really interesting, since I understood that about him, I understood that projectors need a lot of sleep, a lot more than literally any of the other different designs. And so I stopped trying to force him to get out of bed and join us all for a big breakfast and a leisurely morning because he literally, it, it's, it, it's not only that it doesn't serve him, it, it, it's damaging to him because he needs way more sleep than anybody else. And so it has helped not only my family relationships but my work relationships to understand how other people will show up in the world with this unconscious design already made for them. So have an open mind like I did. It doesn't matter if you have a go and you go, nah, this isn't for me. But if it is for you, it may very well answer a lot of questions for you and give you a lot more guidance and just help and insight into how you can thrive in your life, your friendships, your family and your work. So you'll find there's a link underneath this video and it will take you to 
one of the many sites where you can find out what your design is. And then I have also put in a link to um, a really good YouTube set of videos where somebody explains what each of the designs mean. Because when you do your human design, you get this chart, which unless you're versed in it, you're gonna have no clue what it means. I still don't, I always hand it over to a friend that does and she tells me exactly what it means. Like I said, it's always spot on. So I would then, if you get into this and you'd like to know more about your design, then I found the best places to be over on Instagram, some amazing accounts on there where people every day will give you a little bit more insight into what your design or somebody else around you's design is and means and how you can apply it in your life so it can help you. So feel free just to drop me an email at hello at Kia Cannons if you want any more information. I'm quite happy to point you in the direction of different places where I found a bit of extra help. All right, so enjoy this. It's a really super easy and really fun exercise and I really, really hope that you enjoy it because it has seriously helped me in life. 